That's a wiener. <laughs> that was, um... <laughs> it shouldn't be. That'll be the intro. <laughs> Let's just go. <laughs> Vienna. Yum. Okay, best part about Oktoberfest, yeah. at least for me, outside of the endless amount of spines that you get to partake in, it's definitely the food. Uh, we're at Prost in downtown Denver, Colorado, and this is their Vienna Lager brought and made with their own Vienna Lager, and it should be quite delicious, I imagine. With their marks We're looking for salty, savory, fatty, and it's gonna be malty, biscuity, caramelly. It's just gonna go down so smooth. Absolutely delicious, perfect to perfection. And this is why the Germans have everything figured out. Because it's sweet, it's salty, it's savory, it's fatty, it's delicious, it keeps you going for the day. You can have a few more steins. You can go ride a ride if you're at the festival. I recommend the roller coaster. These are okay. They are your friends. It's fine. They're like, thank God I'm not that pig. Oh, there goes. So, salty, savory, fatty, bratwurst, this is the Vienna Lager with the bread. Salty, so bready. is the accoutrements. They always offer a nice mustard alongside it. What's this gonna do? It's gonna bring the total sour effect, which is totally contradicting to the sweet biscuity notes of the Merzo. Mm. But because opposites attract, it's a beautiful contradiction. Sour, sweet, prints, delicious. <laughs> Cheers! Liz got the Wiener, I got the pretzel. <laughs> got her. Alright, so we've done the pretzel before, but we did it with a Pilsner, the Slow Pork Pilsner from Beerstad. This time we're going to go with the Hellas, and because I was really jealous of Liz's Marzen, I'm going to double up and get the Marzen as well. That's right. That's the way to go. Both our common beers you're going to be able to find in the tents in Munich at Oktoberfest. I kind of like Marzen's better. Not always tis the season though, and it is the season for a Marzen. Anyways, I'm gonna jump in on this pretzel. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna be a bit of a monster. I'm not like the biggest salt person. I'm gonna break off some of this got salt. How does one continue to drink without the salt? Well, it's plenty of salt for me. Uh, we're expecting to get uh, kind of similar to what Liz had with the mustard, uh, contrasting with the beers. We're gonna have that same thing once dipped with the mustard, but Readiness should go really well with the sweetness of the Hellas, and we're hoping more of kind of the biscuit flavor from the Marzen, but a little bit more contrasting. It's still going to be great together, then we're going to put in the cheese. The cheese with the Marzen, I think, is going to be the game changer, and that's honestly part of why I wanted the Marzen in here. So let's go. I'm going to go mustard first. You mustard later. Mm, great mustard. Brown mustard, a little bit sweet though. Yummy. Have a drinking problem? Yeah, the that's really good actually. Um, sure. The bready and the plenty of salt still on it went really, really well with the hellas. The sweetness is really helping uh, contrast up with the saltiness. The bread on bread is going to be fa is fantastic, and then add the contrasting of that spicy mustard. Um, the sweetness really dilutes it down and keeps it amazing together. So. Well, that was yum. Um, here's what I really want though. Cheese in the Marzen. Let's go. Kind of a nice 
interesting. I actually had a lot of really good uh, vegetarian food in Munich, which I felt like was unexpected. The potato uh, waffles. Mm. I don't even find a picture. The mushroom mm, the gravy. The fire. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the, the biscuity and the malty can get a little heavy for me. And what I was hoping and what exactly happened. The bread obviously kept it a little bit heavier, but the cheese just completely chilled it. Made it nice and light and bright. Total complimentary of each other. And it feels absolutely fantastic and delicious. And Liz is giving me the I love you sign. <laughs> Happy Oktoberfest, y'all. Let's go. Woo!